been with me from the start. In the AAW days, the early days, and we'd be catching trains for hours to become a wrestler. It was hours. And it was also JC Blade, there was Rhino, and there was myself. And we'd be catching trains every other day. But we went down there, and we did our thing. And what it did was, it made us better wrestlers, made us better people. And what I feel is, Ryan is one of the strongest people you will ever meet. Due to how many injuries he's gone through and to come back every time. And what I feel is, Ryan will have an amazing career in wrestling. And will have an amazing time at AEW. And I want to thank you very much, Ryan, for putting up the effort to come back and to do what you do and what you love. Thank you very much. That's why I did cup, chop the I feel like I'm really beginning to regain the strength in my leg. It's still significantly skinnier than the other leg. Um, when you look at both of them in comparison, there's still a major difference. But as far as functionality goes, I'm able to now climb stairs unassisted. I don't need to hold onto the rail anymore. I'm doing leg press again. I've seen gradual increases uh, since I've been able to go back to leg press. So I started at about, oh God, 30 kilograms, something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, it was something like that, something very, uh, something very low. I'm now leg pressing 80, and that's only been over about two and a half, three weeks. I've got to that weight. I've not pushed myself. It's just been a gradual increase, knowing I can do more and feeling confident I can do a little bit more. So yeah, uh, that's coming along really well. Um, I'm also doing the leg curls. I have not really advanced much. It's way harder than it looks, and especially doing it with one leg. I started doing it with two, but felt like that wasn't helping my bad leg enough. So I don't know what the weight settings are on the on the machines, but I'm I'm doing four at the moment, four plates. I'm nearly on five, but I'm finding five still a little bit difficult. I'm doing leg extensions. They're really tough. Uh, my leg has lost a lot of strength going in that motion. It was tough just doing it without any weights and just on the machine as a guide. That was difficult to just uh, knock out 10. They're much more difficult than the other exercises I've been doing. I tagged out and I rolled out. Uh, I knew exactly as soon as, I, as soon as I landed on my feet, I knew something happened. I'd never experienced anything about it before, but I just felt all the pain in my knee and tagged out my tag match and rolled out. I can't remember who the cameraman was. I spoke to the cameraman at the time and I said, Oh, I've done my knee, I'm gone. Then we went backstage and I, I spoke to a couple of people and everyone told me I was fine and the next day I found out I completely snapped my ACL. It took, it took time, you know, it's a 12 month recovery. Um, but it was a good learning curve because I kind of thought I've always gone through sport thinking I'm indestructible but that's not the case now. We were red hot like uh, Cowboys and Indians, absolutely going mental all year and then just a massive you know, you're going up that ladder and you know, win the tag titles, uh, uh, a state of origin against McMassive, uh, go on, have a good couple matches, and then just for it to all just like drop like that, just for something just as simple as that. It was, wasn't fun, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for the, uh, mostly the mentality, because I was just such, we were on such a high all through that time. Like we didn't think anything of Cowboys and Indians when we first started, it was just a bit of fun. By the end of it we thought we're onto something here and then it just had to all just fall apart from there. So that was it. Ross Cage, um, you have hurt your ankle recently. It's a yeah. torn ligament, was it? Am I correct? Well, well, it was back in January now, so it's been nearly a year since that happened. Um, I still trap, strap it up now, so like I was a keen runner as well at the time. So it was a bit of a nightmare for me, like one thing I didn't want to go was my ankle. A couple of the other lads have said that you'll always live with it now. I just have to put up with it. It's just a, every once in a while, like if I run too far, I just get a fat ankle. Yeah, just put up with it now, to be honest with you. Like I can feel it sometimes when I move my ankle too much and then I just know that it's too much and I've just got to rest it for a few days. So that's just how I deal with it, I guess quite lucky that it hasn't been. Touch wood, I've never had anything like so serious that takes me out for more than six months. It's just going to make you stronger, I guess. You should know you've already recovered from all this stuff. You know, you just got to
go with the positives and hopefully just make you stronger as a person, you know. You might not be as strong physically but mentally, you know. You're gonna be that little bit extra, so good luck to yourself. Oh, thank you. Well, I've been doing many more exercises and I've been getting the hang of doing squats with weights. I'm also working on deadlifts, also with uh, dumbbells, dumbbells or kettlebells, whatever's really available. I do a bit of training. I do a bit outside of training. Crab walks are another one I've been working on. They're harder than they look. Uh, they give m both my legs a hell of a workout. I think of it more as a uh, just a, just an exercise really because I feel the burn on both my legs it's not something I was doing before I got injured so it's definitely something I'm gonna keep up with because I get a lot out of it I'm getting quite strong I'm more confident in exercising I can nearly do everything I could do before I got injured the basic stuff I mean I mean I can't you know I can't kick yet and I can't run properly yet although I'm getting there it's only a matter of time before you see me in a ring again.